Is there a winner in their house? Lord Show me your sign of victory today. Hallelujah. Yes, you are. We give you glory. We honor you for who you are. We give you thanks, O oh Jehovah. To you, God, all the glory. Yes, Lord. Now and ever. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody who want to experience uh, the Holy Ghost? Yeah. You are here. You have the word of God. Some of you have your great testimonies already. I want us to do an exercise that is very practical. This exercise will help you not only now, but even as we go. Are we together? But before doing so, if you are here, you have raised your altar and you have not yet laid your sacrifice, please understand it is only fulfilled when your sacrifice on, is on the altar. Make sure that uh, you do not leave here without laying your sacrifice on the altar. How many of you have already done that? You have done that. Thank God for you. If you are not doing it today, you know, already you want to do it when you must know it is not fulfilled unless you do that. Are we together? Are we together? Yeah, I see someone have it. Br bring, you, bring it on the altar. Uh, someone may have waited for me to, to make that call. If you have your, your sacrifice for your altar, oh, it is very key that you lay it. And if you have it seated, I want you to bring it like those who are coming with it. Lay it on the altar. It is significant to what God is setting for you. It is extremely significant. It is extremely significant. Extremely significant. Now, some of you have written notes, papers. Um, I try to read as many as I can. Especially if you don't make it a newspaper. You know, it's my commitment. The only way I serve God is in serving his people. I pay a full attention on everything that concerns you. But make it sharp. Make it sweet. When it becomes a newspaper, I push it aside for the others and so forth. And by the end of the, the, end of the day, I may not read it. But I want to read it and I want to stand with you. My first ministry is intercession. My second ministry is intercession. My third ministry is intercession. Woo! And the rest comes. Glory to Jesus. I live on my knees and praying for you is a great honor for me. It's not work. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to be on my knees and call on God for you. Are we together? Now, I want you to flow in a dimension. I, I, I cry for our time today. We know the letter, but we do not know the spirit. And the Bible says the letter killeth, but the spirit gives life. I will teach you something very short. And I pray that God help us day after to try to exercise it. It goes with you if you got to receive something from God. Lift your hand. Today, for those of you who are present here, those who may be watching me from around the world, I am talking about how to receive. How to receive in the spiritual realm, the move of God, the power of God, and the work of God. How to receive. There is a how that goes beyond just your mind. There is a, a stand that you got to stand. And my prayer is that God may help you receive from wherever you are. That God may make you sensitive to the spirit so you may be able to receive. Father, I pray. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as I submit myself to you and submit this gathering to you, Spirit of the living God, I pray, glorify the name of Jesus 
in our midst. Bless every man and every woman under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name I pray. And together we say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated if you can. It is good to be in the presence of God. Seeing all the pastors, ministers, bishops, it's uh, just a great honor. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. I want to read with you from the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 21 to 22. This verse, or I would say these verses have been part of uh, the sermon the preacher used in the wedding day. And that though spiritually somebody may have entered into a high covenant, but today is not a wedding ceremony. Genesis chapter 2 verse 21 we read to 22 at the count of three. Let's read one, two, and three. Leo. Now I want you to please be uh, in the word of God as I try to take your mind from what we you know lock ourselves when it comes to the scripture we lock ourselves to I want to move you to what the spirit of God is saying there is treasure in the scripture that goes beyond just a man finding a wife. It is a process of giving birth. It is a work that is beyond the natural. It is God stepping into the human being and producing out of him that which will fulfill him. But all this I have said, the process came not through natural things, but through spiritual things. There are some of you today, you may be married, you may be unmarried, you may be a student, you may be an employee or an employer, you may be a member of the society, simple or well-known, it doesn't matter. You are desiring something to come out of you that will fulfill that which you have been desiring. In your work, you feel like there is something that is falling short. There is something that is missing. You get there, but you do not still have it. And you're looking to God, and God, just like in the scripture we read, is ready to open things and out of the new you know, pull out the things that you are seeking to have. But there is a process. If we understand this process, we will understand how God operates and we will allow ourselves so that every time this happens or God wants to uh, embark on this process, we are ready like Adam was ready. From the first day till the fifth day, God created everything that uh, exists in the visible world. There is nothing that exists that was not created by God. Everything that I can see was created by God. The sixth day, the Bible says, God created a man. And it is only on the sixth day after the man was created that God looked and saw that it was very good. He was satisfied with his work. And the Bible says, God rested. But from the creation of man to the resting that we see in the seventh day, something happened. Man was given the authority over everything that existed. God created man and gave him power and authority. He said you will have dominion and you will subdue everything that exists. 
This is who we are. Amen. We are born to have dominion. Amen. Somebody lifts your hand say I was born to have dominion. I was born to have dominion. Say I will subdue. I will subdue in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He created him with materials that made him taller, stronger, brighter. He was the masterpiece of God. Look at the person next to you and introduce yourself as the masterpiece of God. I am the masterpiece of God. You are more than your look. You are more than the hair you have. You are more than the makeup. You are more than the black guy, the woman I, I see. Receive. You are the masterpiece of God. In the God. name of Find Jesus. Find another neighbor. Introduce yourself as the masterpiece of God. I am the masterpiece of God. God did not create you when he was tired. God did not create, create you when he was not in the mood. He made sure that he created you with everything in you. You Jesus. are the best you can be. I say you are the best you can be. Amen. Some of you, I know you did not come to church with a mirror, but try to look at yourself. Look, look at yourself. Look at your nails, I your am. hands. Look at your God created you. You you are just you. You are just the expression that there is a God in heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, on the sixth day. After he created the lion that you love, he created mm. the monkeys that you love to go to the zoo for. He created you. Mm. I know they're trying to compete with you, but if I was them, I would say, let me let her be. Let me let him be. You are created as a masterpiece I of God. It. God looked at you up, down. Down, up. Mm. round and they say it was good oh, yeah, man. amen did they say that yes no very they say it good. was very good very good <laughs> hallelujah look at your neighbor say neighbor neighbor very good I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm very good. With my nose, my eyes, my ears, oh, I'm yeah. very oh, yeah. good. If you do not like it, it's your problem. problem. I am very good. I am there very is no good. two like me. No, I am no, unique, no. uniquely tailor-made by God. I am just very good. Amen. I know you're trying to lose weight, but while in the process, please hey, keep in mind you are very good. I'm very good. I know you're trying to brighten your complexion a little bit, but hear me, you are very good. Very Some good. Some people, when they look at themselves in the mirror, they consider their nose, they wish it was longer, it was smaller, whatever the case may be, just know one thing. You are the masterpiece of God. I you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. You are very good. good. With long hair, short hair, you are very good. So good. When you paint it red or blue, you are still very good. Somebody let your never know that you know who you are. You are mm, you are I the am best. Very good. You are the best. Hallelujah. You, you Hallelujah. are the best. Glory to Jesus. First day passed, the second day passed, the third day passed, the fourth day passed, the fifth day passed. All that creation heard was good. 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 There was no V on the good. It was just Good, good, good until you came. Thank you, Jesus. Until you came. Until you came. Hallelujah. Until you came. Hallelujah. Find the neighbor, give him a five, a high five. Very good. 
Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. Doesn't matter what you see now. See his glory. I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. I'm gonna see his glory. Hey. Take a look at me. Jesus. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. That's right. Do not allow anyone mm -mm. tell you otherwise. You are the masterpiece of God. Amen. Amen. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. Your nose is just fine. Oh, yes. Your ears are just fine. Your round, nice eyes are just fine. fine. Your complexion is just fine. fine. Your height is just fine. fine. You, you are just perfect. When God looks at you from I heaven, there is a smile on his face because you are his masterpiece. Amen. Hear this, please have a seat. The Lord created man and he said it was very good. Now the Bible said the man that was created was placed in leadership of every other thing created before him. The Lord gave him dominion and God gave him power to rule. You are born to rule. I receive it. You will have dominion over everything around you in the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. It was to lead, to determine fate of things around him. It was him, Adam, that had to shape the rest of things that the Lord had given him. He created him and gave him power to make things happen. He was not a creator himself. For when we speak about creating, we talk about bringing to existence something using materials that never existed before. That's right. If you make something, it's because you may put something new, but using old existed material. That's what we say, made in China, made in South Africa, because they are not creating it. God was a creator and he gave him the power to make things around. His name was Adam. He was the likeness of God. He was the image of God. He was not just a creature. He was not just a being. He was created a little higher than angels. Amen. He Amen. was a child of God. Everything in creation was designed to answer to him. No wonder the animals alive today, existing and even those who are no longer in existence today, were named by him. His knowledge, his understanding was greater than anything that ever existed. Amen. Adam, the Lord created him and placed him right in the middle of the garden so that he may rule. The Lord is restoring somebody to the place of rulership. You are meant to rule. You In shall decree a Jesus. thing and it shall be established. established. Everywhere you go, you shall be the head. You shall not be the tail. I receive. You will go forward always, backward never. never. God is restoring you. When Satan came, Satan came so he may steal your position, removing you from where God has set you to be. But under the sound of my voice, God is restoring men and women to their previous initial place. I you will rule. 
demons will bow before you. The devil himself will flee at your in presence. In the name of Jesus. God will do it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Those things that scared you yesterday will run away from you from the this name day forward. Jesus. You will speak against the winds. You will speak against I the waves. It. You will say, be still and it shall be still. In you Jesus will look name. at the mountain and say, mountain move and Whoa. the mountain shall move. Amen. When you need provision out of the mouth of a fish will come dollars, will come pounds, will come euros, will come rain. Awesome. You rule, I say, you rule. I don't know how many people I'm sent to speak to. But God is blessing you where he had initiated initially establish you a place of Jesus. rulership we rule we take over you will I possess your it. possession I receive it uh, somebody say I rule I rule. Now say it again. I rule. I rule. Every witch in your family will understand. As I long rule. as you are part of that family, they have no place of Yay! operation. I will save it. Every flying devil, every walking devil, every creeping devil, every swimming devil will understand. As long as you are there. They will not have a space to operate. I receive it. I say in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You will walk in a place. The devil will walk out. Because Jesus there will name. no longer be a cohabitation between you and evil. Where light comes, darkness disappears. Amen. I decree and I declare you rule from this day forward. I, I say you rule from this day forward in the name of Jesus. Uh, you, you won't be broke again. You, you, you cannot be broke again. Mm -hmm. Resources were given to you. God did not create you and start uh, trying to put resources together for you. Right. No. He created everything you would need. Then he just bless you in the midst of your resources what is it that you want is it a new car is it a new house is it a new deal god you is establishing you back to your initial place Go you will touch together. one thing it will turn into gold i, receive I it. am pronouncing prosperity i receive it prosperity in your life in the name of prosperity jesus prosperity in your life in the name everything of everything your head finds to do will prosper in the name of, of jesus. jesus i speak as an authorized mouth of god my name is aflu kao mm. I did not improvise myself. If you are today under the sound of my voice, be it present or you are watching me live, let me tell you, heaven is provoked for you. I heaven is provoked for it. you. There is no way of escape. You are bound to succeed. You are bound to I prosper. Victory is yours. In the name the of Jesus. The devil will fall before you. In Jesus they will name. come against you by one way. Uh -huh. They shall be scattered Amen. in seven different ways. I receive. If you are under the sound of my voice, sickness is no longer your portion. In the name of Jesus. I say sickness is no longer your portion. I receive. High blood pressure, low blood pressure, sugar it's diabetes. Not my Arthritis is no longer your portion. In the name of Jesus. Mediocrity is no longer your portion. In the name of Average Jesus. is no longer your portion. It is not my Bye -bye portion. Bye-bye to the pains of yesterday. In the name of Jesus. Bye-bye to the pains and the struggles bye -bye, of yesterday. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. In the name of bye -bye. Jesus. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. In bye -bye. the name of Jesus. In the mighty name Never of the Jesus. Same. I On was Monday, saved. you are new. On Tuesday, you are new. Amen. Ah, you rule where you are. Amen. I say you rule where you where are. Where I am. Hey. Amen. Receive. Woo. Hallelujah. So shall it be. In Jesus' name.
It cannot be otherwise. Amen. How can it be otherwise? Mm -hmm. How? Look at the person next to you. Say, I am here to take over. I'm here to take over. That university will never be the same again. That business will oh, never yes, be the I'm same again. Oh, yes, I'm here to take over. That industry, take it or that leave sector it, will never be the not. same again. You are here to rule. You I'm are here to, here to take over. You will In possess the name your possession. Jesus. Dominion has been given. How can the Jesus devil win? While we are still here, we are the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We are child, sons and daughters of God. Amen. How can the devil have the last word when Alf Lukau is Jesus. still in town? The Amen. devil he is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. I'm a soul. Have a seat if you can. Adam had received everything from God. Adam was the masterpiece of God. He was the best investment God ever made. He was a higher than all mountain put together. His worth exceeded the worth of every other breathing animal. He was made in the likeness of God. Amen. He was the reflection of the glory of God. Jesus. For it is said, God made him according to his own image. Mm. If you had to look at God and you could not find him, look for Adam. Mm. Whatever he represented was the image of God. If only you will know who you are. There may be so many things happening there. Nothing can remain the same when you walk in. Because when you walk in, God walks in. Amen. I receive it. It is like that. And if you do not know it, the enemy will play with right. your lack of knowledge. He will maneuver through your ignorance and try to undermine the investment of God. Your, the investment of God in you. You are born to always win. Amen. I say you are born to always win. I receive. He created you to be the head only. Right. So you shall be the head and never the tail. I receive it. You are a child of God. You are not just anything or anybody. Right. You are a child of God. When you go to work and you sit at the desk, don't just sit as a flukau. Sit as one created by God in his image and likeness. I receive it. Refuse to be undermined by the things that you see around you. You are more than who you think you are. You are it. more and greater than what they say you are. All right. Mm. Mm. Have, have a seat. The Bible says Adam, created by God, began to assess everything that was created by God and made at his disposal. He was looking at the animals and named each one of them. It means that uh, everything that uh, you call was named by Adam. God created everything that exists. Adam 
name them all. In the process of running his duty, giving name, setting his authority, the Bible shows that Adam realized that every animal created by God were created in pairs, female and male. And for him, he was alone. And the Bible says, he began to feel sad. A feeling that is first expressed in the word. Sadness. He felt sad. Sad. Sadness is a terrible thing. It leads to anxiety, depression. That leads to so many bad things. Sad. He was sad because he felt like God did not give him everything. He was sad because he thought that uh, he who was the ruler of all did not have enough as the rest. He was sad because when he compared himself with others uh, to him, others looked better. As one will say, God, did you make a mistake? I don't have what they had. Ignorance is a terrible thing. Adam was looking around to find something that would satisfy him inside. The monkeys were too. The gorillas were too. He admired the baboon. He said, at least there is Mr. Baboon and there is Mrs. Baboon. But when it comes to me, oh God, some of us cry to God over things that he had already done. We are looking out there, we're pointing finger at God. God, my healing. God, my deliverance. Oh God, look at me. I'll compare myself to them. They look better. God is looking. I say, oh, if you knew. Jesus. Adam envied the baboon. He looked at the dog. He looked at the, the little rats that moved in pairs. He scratched his head in anguish. He had a prayer request that was above his head. God, you gave even the doggy, even the kitten and the kid, the, the kid, something that you have not given me. God, how can you be so mean? Even the chicken came in pairs. The doves and the pigeon came in pairs. But me, the one created in your image and likeness, you have not given me. Is there anything you're looking for? Is there anything when you go to the mall and see people driving the Rolls Royce and you say that mm, it's like I have come to escort them on earth? Is there anything you're looking for when you hear that there is a baby shower? You begin to say, ah, them they have. What about me? Adam was like that. Adam at any given time from that point could have exchanged his position with uh, the position of a gorilla. <laughs> Why? Simply because I see Mr. Gorilla, I see Mrs. Gorilla, but me, I'm alone. I to my shakate baota. When men do not know the work of God and the plan of God for them, they live a broken life with no cause. When men do not know what God had already done for them and placed you at their disposal, they run around like a headless chickens, not knowing that uh, they do not fight to have victory. They're always in victory. On Monday, the winners. On Tuesdays, the winners. On Wednesday, the winners. I no receive. matter what comes, victory is I embedded receive. in them. Adam didn't know. He did not know. He felt alone. And he felt sad. 
the carrier of the glory of God was said just like some folks in church who come to church instead of telling your problem how great your God is you try to pity me to your God try to draw the pity of God God <laughs> you know me you know my problems not understanding who you are today God is giving you back your position I receive it and is turning your mind around I for you see when Satan succeeds to steal your mind he destroys your life that's right the greatest battles of life are fought in the terrains of our mind. If you cannot perceive it, you cannot receive it. If it's wrong up here, it will be wrong everywhere else. Your transformation doesn't start with the muscle, the bicep and the triceps. Your transformation starts in your mind be it transformed by the renewing of your mind you may not change height change weight but the day you start seeing it differently you start living it differently I receive it Adam did not know therefore his mind was low in understanding God caused him to sleep he fell asleep and God began to do what Adam supposed to know that everything you're looking for is inside you oh, you yes. carry your miracle with you I receive it yeah you carry your miracle with you that the Range Rover is in you it is not I in the dealership it. it is in you Jesus your million name. dollars is not in the reserve bank is in you that new property is not out there is in, in you what you have to do is pull it out pull it out pull it out I am I seeing elevation it. coming because I somebody is giving birth today I am I seeing greatness manifesting because somebody Jesus. is giving birth today I will save it that ministry that you are admiring out there is in you you gotta give birth to it God created you with everything you need in you look at the person next to you say it is in you it is in you that, that, that miracle is in you the blessing is in it's you. In you. The promotion is in it's you. In you. The breakthrough is in you. It's in you. That elevation is in you. It's in and you. today, God is pulling it out of you. I God is pulling it out of you. In Jesus' name. Your life, I decree, I decree, and declare, will never be the same again. I was saved. Lift your hand and say, my life will never be the same again. My life will never be the same again. I am created in the image of God. I am created in the image of in God. In the likeness of God. In the likeness of say God. Say again, my life will never ever be the same again. My life will never be the same again. Say, I have dominion. I have dominion. Say, I rule. I rule. I am here to take over. I am here to take Until over. Until Jesus returns. Until Jesus returns. So shall it be. In the it be. cannot be otherwise. It cannot be In otherwise. In the name of Jesus. In the name now of Jesus. Now give Jesus Christ the Hallelujah. best shout of praise you have. Glory to Jesus. Please have a seat. What I want to share with you as I tell you about Adam and all that God has bestowed in him is simple. Adam thought that God had fallen short in giving him what his heart, his heart desired. But that was not so. 
God caused Adam to sleep and out of his rib he pulled a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman. When we talk about a woman, we are simply talking about a womb man a man with a womb a man who's able to reproduce a man who's able to multiply is a womb man that's why every man who understands that a god pulled out of you a womb man will always take care of the womb man because without the womb man you remain truly alone there will be no extension of you there will be no multiplication of you if you do not understand it we're living in a generation more and more that is clear that the adam created by god did not really understand completely who God pulled out of him mm. God opened his rib his side pulled the rib made a woman man called a woman and closed and while God was busy making the womb man known as the woman the unfortunate part is uh, the man was asleep mm -hmm. so I beg you if you see that uh, we do not understand you it's because when he was making you most of us were sleeping Jesus there, there, there are things that uh, you spoke with God we were not there because we were asleep the deal that you really close with God is beyond us because when God pulled us, we were asleep. When he made you, we were asleep. When we woke up, you were surprised. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 If we understood what God did and the deal of God with the womb man, most of us will treat women with respect, with dignity, because we will understand that every woman is a touch not of the Lord. Amen. Women have been created, not made. Women were created to come to our rescue. Glory to Jesus. Uh, woman came to rescue man we were broken we were sad we lost position we were on pills ready to hang ourselves until God says slow down sleep a little and out of you out of your side I pull a womb man and as we woke up the Bible said man was surprised look at the person next to you say surprise surprise, surprise i am here surprise i am, I here. am here surprise I surprise. Am here. surprise i am here surprise. irrespective of whether she is big slim tall short light or dark the womb man came out of man and she came with the purpose to rescue this confused Adam. Somebody! I thought that I would get a better shot of praise. I thought I would get a better shot of praise. You, 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 you will understand will understand in the dispensation we are in is a dispensation of the Holy Ghost the dispensation of grace the dispensation of the church where Jesus Christ before leaving he said I will not leave you often I will 
go to my father and send you. It is your advantage that I may go. He's talking about the Holy Spirit. He said, if I do not go, he will not come. He's talking about the Spirit of God. So the Spirit of God prones in this time. He rules in this time. He mm. reigns in this time. Oh God. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God in our time now, he's the one who glorifies Jesus. But when you begin to read carefully, you will see that the same name given to the Holy Spirit is the same name given to the woman. The Bible calls the woman helper and the Bible calls the Holy Spirit helper. Somebody look at a shout. God bless you, men of God. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah. A man who does not know how to celebrate a woman is a lost man, is a confused man, is a downgraded man. A man who understands how God operates. Every time you see her, she may not be directly Jesus. linked to you, but you open the door. You will have that courtesy. You will say, you are blessed above all. When Jesus had to come, God had option. He could have come out of a tree. He could have fallen down in heaven. But God chose a virgin woman called Mary. And out of her came the savior of the world. I'm talking about Jesus Christ coming out of a woman. Not the apostle. A woman. Not the prophet. A woman. Not the patriarch. A woman. I bow when I celebrate every woman under the sound of my voice. Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When I think about Jesus, what is done for me? When I think about Jesus, how he set me free, I can dance, 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 dance. God bless you, man of yeah. God. Please have a seat now that I know Help that you us. know. We salute you, men of God. You are far. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. I salute the anointing on your life. The Lord caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam and he slept. <laughs> and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which the Lord had taken from man, he made into a woman and he brought her to the man. God had his own process with the woman, creating him, creating her. And taking her by hand, and said, Let me take you to the guy. Adam was asleep. The Bible carries on say that when the man woke from his, from his sleep, he looked and said, Mamma mia.
Somebody. It is okay to celebrate you. Women celebrate. <laughs> hey. Hey, now please have a seat. Allow me to change gears to take a different corner to lead you to what was initially what the Lord wanted you and I to understand. The process. The process. I came to know in the Holy Spirit that there are things that the Spirit of God through the anointing that you have to have if you want at any time to experience God at his best. It is true as the word says that the spirit or the anointing you have received will teach you of all things. Now when they say the anointing will teach you, it does not imply that you do not need a teacher or a preacher. It does not mean that the ABC of the gospel, the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ will be suddenly poured in your spirit by the spirit. No, it means that there are certain things especially in the details of operation in the spiritual realm that you'll never be able to tap into naturally. You gotta get it in the spirit. If you understand how the spiritual realm operate and you embrace with both your hand and your heart open what God is saying now I perceive that you will keep on maximizing your potential in God especially in the spiritual realm. I've come across many people to whom God has given a lot but they still have nothing to show because they've received none of what God has thrown away. Because you see, in the quest of life with God, in your walk with God, it is not enough that God has given you. It has to be finalized by you receiving. To be given is one thing. Right. To receive is another thing. Mm. The anointing may be present here right now and somebody still does not receive. There is a how to receive what God is releasing over you. The Lord intends for you to be blessed, to be elevated, to have open doors to go places in life. The Lord intends that you may move with acceleration and be the head and not the tail. But that does not just depend on the will of God for you. It also depends on the ability you develop spiritually on being able to catch it. That's right. Adam could have completely missed it and remain in confusion, questioning God, who has already, who had already done it all, if he did not have the sensitivity of the spirit in receiving. Adam had to fall asleep. He could not have his eyes open when God was pulling a rib out of him. It would be too horrific for him. He would have stopped the process of God. He would have interfered with God. God, don't take that rib. Take another rib. So God had to cause the man to sleep. Now, if you do not understand that when God operates, his hand may lead you left, sometimes it may lead you right. Though often, whatever God is doing may not make sense. It will not meet the standard of approval of your rationality, but it is imperative for you to know. 
that God makes no mistakes. Glory to Jesus. You will not be able to flow in the Holy Ghost if you miss to develop the ability to receive when it touches you. Mm -hmm. Now, what Genesis calls that God calls a sleep to fall on man is simply that as the Holy Ghost came on man, he was slain under the power. If the author of Genesis, meaning Moses, was open to the move of the spirit that you and I are open to now, and comes to church in Hallelujah Ministries today, he would have written another book on you. And he would say that every Sunday as the pastor lifts his hand, they all fall asleep. There was no better way to present the manifestation of the Holy Ghost that day than to say he had fallen asleep. It is not that he was deep in a natural sleep and snoring like you do every night when we are not there. No, he was under the power. Amen. God through the Holy Ghost wanted to do something that will fulfill his destiny, that will fulfill his desire, that will cover the void of his heart. But as the Spirit of God moved, he had to be sensitive to allow the Holy Ghost to do it his way without resisting him. I see many people struggling to receive simply because they are not open they are not sensitive to how the spirit move every time the holy ghost moves on a person to bless him to raise him up to use him his move will come with bizarre things there are sensations that are are yours only when the spirit of god is at work and working on you now if you resist it you do not know you are not just resisting a sensation you are resisting all the god had planned in that process for you jesus ladies and gentlemen i present to you that the edem he is also to be applauded because Adam allowed God to have his way on him. He said, if one would have said that he prayed, it's like one would have said, oh Lord, have your way in me. Do it your way. If I have to fall, I fall. Many a times while praying for people, you can see somebody who God want to bless but the person is so so resisting is resisting the process why because the person may not want to fall and embarrass himself the person may not want to jump and look like he has lost his mind not understanding that are resisting the process resisting the sensation resisting the hand of god is stealing from your own self right there are many Adam who still do not know the Eve. Simply because when God came in the garden to meet them at the point of the need and pull out of them the Eve, they resisted God. I am praying for people and everybody is falling under the power. I see a gentleman from far. Already as people are falling, one of his eyes open is checking. What is happening? He's shaking the atmosphere. I knew that that day God would bless everybody. And my outer call was that I come. The Lord here will touch all of you. And everybody was receiving under the power. But he was looking. He was shaking with one eye. Close one eye. 
open saying preacher I'm watching you <laughs> he may have had his own reason maybe there was somebody in the auditorium that he wanted to impress somebody he wanted to look good in front of now as I came to pray for him even before touching him he was like <laughs> getting ready as one who say I'm not falling today <laughs> I'm not falling today. He did not understand the process of God. He did not understand how to receive. I want to present to you family that when God begins to move your way, you will have to be sensitive. Sensitive to the move of the Holy Ghost. Sensitive to accept and receive literally everything that God has for Amen. you. You have to be. I have seen people who have thought that uh, if the spirit of God comes and I begin to shiver people know that I'm weak I'm not a great pastor my title is too big for me to do this my title is big for me to shiver people like that who have never tasted the move of the spirit they have never experienced what it feels to be overwhelmed by the power of God are people that run the race empty they have no substance they can tell you good thing but they have nothing to give in exchange when the spirit of God moves ladies and gentlemen I want you to be prepared in the physical realm sometimes you don't want it but something is happening something is happening until that is done a number of you will miss the blessing now this story I mentioned many a times I was not yet a pastor but I was already one who serving God preaching I knew by that time that I'm called to serve God I went to this church and the pastor received me well I was there for a while I was ministering the church began to grow and this day as the Lord placed in my heart I met another call I was praying miracles were taking place and there was a young girl called Nana this is her real name and as I pray for this young girl she's the only child of a general and a very wealthy family she fell under the power just like everybody else so we carry on praying I prayed for everybody things went well in that church after the preacher and the preaching they receive offering and give announcement announcement and uh, uh, offering are not done before the preaching they are done after the preaching meaning preacher do what you have to do once you finish we'll carry on with the program of the church now i finished preaching everybody has to go go to seat because the one who had to do the announcement and receive the offering had to take the stage but in that moment while everybody left this young girl nana was still laying there for some reason it's almost a conservative church they are open probably to the spirit they have never seen the ministry of God as they have been seeing with me the pastor loved me because many people came to the church but then seeing a young girl alone laying down was awkward so the preacher came oh the MC came gave announcement the one who had to collect the offering came, collected the offering. The young girl was still there. Those who were leaders came on the side, tried to wake her up, saying that uh, the time of the spirit is over. It's announcement time. But she was not hearing. She was not moving. The service finished. They ignore her. Intercessors began to pray. And I moved like everybody else. But I was still there. It was not a big church. Intercessors tried to wake her up. Church is over. She's not moving. They start getting concerned. They went to call the pastor. Who was with me outside. With some leaders. It is after church. Brothers are fellowshipping. They say, Papa. There is a situation inside. Which situation? The young girl that was prayed for is still 
laying down, not moving, we think she had a heart attack. It could be that as she's dead, the pastor said, is that true? Well, I was simple. I started thinking, what is happening? People are speaking, but they're not speaking to me. But I know when they're speaking, they're pointing me. Really? And they run inside. It was not my church. I was not part of the church. I was just a guest. So I really did not know what to do. I was just. Yeke raba soto. Doriokoto shoro. Yebe koko shoto. Oh Jesus. The pastor went inside. The intercessors picked the lady. And they carried her in the intercession place. Carried her. She was really as passing I could see. As one who was half dead. The pastor was concerned. One hour passed. Two hours passed after the service. There is no movement. I can hear people praying. In the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing. No movement. More intercessors are being sent there. The deacons are being sent there. The group around the little... Oh, the young girl keep on growing I was not approached I was left by myself I am thinking what is going on then I heard the pastor speaking to member of the family because that was now three to four hours she's not moving I heard the pastor say let me go and speak to him I knew he's coming to me The pastor came to me and he said, uh, uh, Pastor, you created an issue here. We please quickly want you to go and fix. I said, me? I created no issue. He said, the young girl that you prayed for, she's not moving. It could be that uh, she collapsed or she's there. We don't know. Please, will you come with me? Hey, I said to the pastor, no, I will follow you. Because I needed to consult God. It looked like a, a huge conspiracy against me. Family members heard of that and were coming. And worse than anything, the father of the girl who's always traveling, happened not to be out of town happened to be at home he happened to hear that uh, this matter happened to a daughter she, he never approved those churches now the daughter going to the church was because of the mother this man is a general he said what my only child I'm going there the pastor came and said, we're waiting for you. I said, I'm coming. <laughs> God, why do you always put me in trouble? <laughs> why is it that often you put me in situation where I don't know? This is not the first time. Oh, God. You see, when your strength is failing you when you have no muscle when it seems like your joints are shaky lean on him amen lean on, lean on, him. on him I was praying it was an open place the pastor called me for the second time I said I'm coming and I heard the pastor denying me in front of the first group of the family that came. He was explaining, this young girl has been in church. We never had a problem, I'm telling you. That guy. <laughs> hey. A small matter is going big. 
I heard with my own mushroom ears the pastor saying to the member of the family that came, this young girl, we are good, we are good. People will deny you. Say, we, we, I don't know this guy. Me, I invited him. This is what? The, 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 the third, the fourth time he minister. We don't know him. He's the one who touched him. I was even concerned in the service. I'm hearing the pastor who invited me, who felt me that I, the church number tripled while I was there. He denied me. The waters became bitter for me. The situation and the atmosphere became hostile to me. I was alone. I was not Pastor Alf. I was just a man of God, Alf Lukau. While doing that, remaining and hearing them, having the commotion, the voice I love spoke to me. He said, Alf, go. Glory to Jesus. When I heard it, every broken bone in me was restored. My name is Af Lukau. Glory to Jesus. When I heard the Spirit of God, the tender voice of my friend speak within me, give me the go ahead, go. This is happening. The story is in Lusaka, in Zambia. I started moving towards where the crowd was. Mm. You, 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 you could he almost hear the angels playing music instrument in heaven. Dun, 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 dun. I got there, they were hostile. I was like a criminal. Even people who, for whom I prayed for before, had fallen under the power before, that were present, were looking at me like, mm, he's here. The family members were crying. This young girl was not shaking, she was not responding. You lift her hand, it falls. So I asked the pastor, what is her name? Because I didn't know. The pastor looked at me, we not answering. The person next to the pastor said, her name is Nana. I'm coming close, hearing the father and a group of people coming. You can really hear because it was in an open place. I came to that small place like a room and I moved them. They told me the name is Nana. I took her by the hand. I said, Nana. She said, hmm? I said, stand up. She stood. Glory, glory to Jesus. Blessed be your name. Hear me. Jesus. I did not pray. I just called. Nana, mm -hmm. as easy as that. She opened her eyes. I said, Are you well, Nana? You see, yes, man of God. Hallelujah. Those who were around began to jump. When they were jumping, the father thought that and now it is over. We had a group that entered and pushed people around to find Nana. Saying, I'm fine. Because she heard what I didn't know. This young girl was born with a rare heart disease. She could not move. She was really taken care of with a, a silver spoon and being fed. She was fragile. Because of that, she was more than just the darling of the father and the mother. They, they loved her, but they, you know when you love somebody, you, you are afraid to lose the person. Every day is a miracle. You, you protect the person. 
now falling under the power when the family heard that they knew that uh, it's finished. They ran, they ran there. And as the father entered, so Nana saying, I'm not feeling pain. I said to her, what's the problem? She said, I don't, I don't feel pain. The aunt who was there said, Nana was born with a red disease. She's speaking now. Nana was born with a red disease. She cannot move. She cannot do sudden movement. I said, Nana, are you well? She said, I am well. Are you in pain? No. Can you jump? Hey. Nana, walking for Nana is like you think she's walking in style. No. It's because of her heart. Nana began to jump. Hey, I'm jumping. The pastor is looking. Less than a minute ago, he denied me. People who had changed against me, rechanged for me. People are funny. They eat the bread and the fish of Jesus and say, be the key. Tomorrow, they see Barnabas say that they crucify him. People were jumping. Nana is a miracle. So I came close to Nana. And I said, how are you feeling after she was jumping? She said, I feel good. I feel good. I said, bring her something to eat. What they were bringing, Nana began to tell us a story. She said, when you laid hand on me, I saw doctors coming. They took me and they put me in the operating room. Glory to Jesus. And I saw so many of them speaking. And they opened my heart. And they removed my heart. I could see, but I could not move. She said, they took another heart in a, a form of a see-through box. They took it and plugged it in me. And once they plugged it in me, they closed then I heard you say, Nana. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. All the time she was just like this. Falling under the power. She was not dead. She was being operated by the almighty God. Something spiritual was taking place in a life just like it was with uh, Uncle Adam Malume <laughs> while he was uh, laying down they had opened an operation was taking place now the father got there seeing Nana jumping Nana looked at the father went to hug the father kissed the father and said daddy of course, this is her understanding. I don't heal. Jesus heals. But this is what she said. Daddy, this pastor healed me. Pointing on me. The pastor who had denied me came and said that he's my guest. The devil is a liar. I can see things turning around for you. I, will say I said there is a turn around. As if it's turning that. around for your good. Those Jesus. who denied you will run for you. I will see I'm that. Turn him around. Turn him around. Turn him around. Said, this happened because she was laying under the power. I've given you this example to tell you a number of things happen when the Spirit of God comes on you. When the Spirit of God is trying to get a blessing to you, sometimes its manifestation in the natural realm will mean things that you do not naturally expect. You may fall under the power. 
you may feel heat going through your body you may feel the need or the urge of screaming out now if you will resist that for a reason or another you may miss a great deal of blessing if nana did not fall under the power the operation would have never taken place I always tell people who pray with me or help me when I'm praying for people when somebody has fallen under the power leave him there protect him that uh, he may not hurt himself by somebody falling on him but allow God who began that work to finish it yes can you imagine Adam falling under the power and God is pulling Eve out of Adam and you come and make him stand. Eve is not well formed. <laughs> Allow him to do his work. Now, Lord, if I have to fall under the power, so be it. I lose nothing. Yes. If I have to scream, ah, ah, I lose nothing. Adam was blessed with Eve because he had a great deal of sensitivity when God began to do his work. The move of the spirit helps you receive from God. In the spiritual realm, I learned this. When God moves, there are times nothing extraordinary happens in the physical. But uh, more than once, I have seen people manifesting in the natural realm. Why? Because your spirit is bigger than your physical body. Amen. And when the spirit begins to operate in you, your natural body or your physical body often is overwhelmed by what is happening. The reaction is simply because you are overwhelmed. And if you will resist it, you, you don't want to receive. You, you're looking for the pastor. Your eyes are open. They say, receive, receive. You, you're checking pastors where? Because I want him to touch me. You are aborting the better part of what God That's is doing. Right. There are times where I was alone with nobody in my room. I lifted my hands praying in the Holy Ghost and something hit me. Bam! I'm on the floor. I know when I started praying and when I regained conscience, I checked the time, maybe two hours passed. In that two hours, you have vision. In that two hours, the spirit is building you. In that two hours, the Holy Ghost is uh, investing in you. Amen. Allow the spirit of God to do what you want to do. I do not want you, if you are under the sound of my voice, as we are in this season where the hand of God is mightily at work, that uh, you may not understand that when he wants to do it, it doesn't matter if you are tall or if you are short, if you are a man or if you are a woman, if you are highly ranked in society or not, if it is that uh, you have to scream, scream. If it is that uh, you are falling bad, fall. If it is, just do it. There was a son of mine before he became a pastor. This fellow got born again. And I saw him in a few months operating in a level many of my other son's pastors struggle to operate in. But something about him. He is very, very sensitive to the spirit. Not only in a playing, I'm hearing you, Lord. No. He can be there with his eyes closed. If I am behind him, his spirit will pick it. You just see him bah, falling under the power. Or so shivering. He will sense things in the spirit. And I had another son who was already a pastor. I was comparing while I was doing my study of the two of them. This guy was hard as a rock. Hard to get 
eat anything of the spirit out of him, mm, you lie. With his eyes closed or open, you can lay hands on him. Fits on him. It's still like, hard. I compare the two in the growth. The one who just gave his life to Christ, such serving God, who presented himself as a, a dry sponge in the bucket of water and sucked everything, compared to him, a stone, who merely on the outside will seem to be weight, but nothing inside. The growth were not to be compared. The other or the letter, the one who came later, was higher. And oftentimes I see it here. I'm praying for people and I can see God in the Holy Ghost is releasing a blessing for this person. But the person is too mindful. What if nobody catches me? What if she sees me falling? She might say, which kind of man is this one? <laughs> you pray for somebody who's going. I spoke to my son last weekend. I prayed for a fellow this side here less than seven days ago. And God showed me that the spirit of death was already taking him. If we did not pray, that guy this month will not end. He will die. Of course, as I am praying for people, I went to him. I could see his eyes closed. Maybe he was a visitor. Maybe he's not acquainted. He was like this. So I pray for people next to him. Then I laid hands on him. He happened to fall. But this man picked himself up in less than a second. As soon as he hit the ground, bah, he stood. Glory oh, to Jesus. In the spiritual realm, I know what he received. I said to myself, if only you knew that, that this month could have been the last month of your life, okay. you would have said while on the ground, Lord, give me more. Let me have it all. Are you hearing me? It takes two things if you want to receive easily in the spiritual realm. First, it takes faith like a child. Not just faith, but faith like a child. Amen. Lord, give it to me. Lord, do it your way. Amen. Lord, it's no longer about me. It's all about you. That's the first thing that it takes. If I stretch my hand, certain people receive and their lives will never be the same. While others are still missing it. They, okay. Amen. They're missing it. You got to believe like a child. Society is attacking our faith. They tell us that if we believe we are weak. If we believe we are naive. If we, are be we believe we are manipulated, we are brainwashed because the devil knows he cannot destroy your life unless he destroys your faith first. If your faith is not broken, your life cannot fall. The battles of life are battles of faith. So you must believe. You must Amen. believe the prophetic. You must believe the power of healing. You must believe the power of deliverance. You must believe the move of God. Amen. You must believe. Believe just like a child. Mm. Second, you must give yourself completely to it. You must let yourself go. When the spirit of God is moving, you must let yourself go. Go. I am here. I surrender. To surrender is I let myself go. I present it all unto you. It's no longer how I want it. It's all about you. I surrender. I surrender. If you have no ability to surrender, even your healing, you may miss. A prophetic word can be given to you. You, mm, mm. you are not into it. If you want to enjoy 
in the spiritual realm, be able to surrender. Adam went on the ground, fell under the spirit. He was not mindful what the monkey will think. What is it that the gorilla will, will say? Some of you are busy thinking too much on what people are thinking about you. You're too mindful of your environment that you miss God when he's coming your way. Today I want to pray. But as I pray for you, an impartation to come on you, you have to be sensitive. Sometimes it's not that you fall. Sometimes you feel like laughing. It is just a heavenly joy. When everybody is speaking in tongues, you just feel like laughing. No one is tickling you. But there is an, an overflowing joy. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, let, it let it go but when the joy is coming you front in your face we can see the inner battle the spirit of God is sensitive the Bible says don't make him sad don't quench the spirit you can make him sad and you can quench the spirit if it means that you have to love love if you have to jump, jump. Where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. You may feel like just turning. I don't know what it means in the spiritual realm, but I will not judge you. Even if I look at you, say, whoa, never seen that. You, 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 you go on it. Because I am working my miracle. I am on the dressing floor. I am working out something. I've given myself to the Lord. I said to him, do it your way. Are you ready to receive from God? Amen. We are are you ready. ready to receive from God? We are ready. Are you ready to receive from God? Are you ready? We are ready. Hear this. You want to operate in the power of God? You want to see the spirit? You want to prophesy? For you to do that, you must believe like a child. Like a child, accept Hallelujah. you make a mistake. Literally make a mistake. It's okay. Believe like a child that the voice you heard is not your mind. Believe like a child that uh, what has risen from your heart is not the produce of your ambitions. Believe just like a child. Believe that uh, it is not just coincidence. Believe that uh, it is really God using you. Amen. There he goes. This is what I'm talking about. There he goes. Let yourself go. I hear him say, for you to be able to say that, I hear him say, you must never make it all about you. Right. I'm here. I give myself. If I fall, I fall. If I jump, I jump. If I, I turn, I turn. If I roll, I roll. It's no longer about me. It's not about me. Somebody's prophetic gift that has been already deposited in him. God is about to give you another opening. I another opening. It. I say another opening. I Who am it. I talking to? I, I said God is about to give you another opening. In this I opening, if you will be like a child, if you allow God to take over, something will begin to manifest. As I, I am speaking, there are angels already touching men and women. There are angels already moving, 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 moving. Angels are moving, moving, touching, touching, touching. Receive it, receive it. Allow him to do 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 it. Move. Move, Spirit of God. Move, Spirit of God. Move, Spirit of God. Move. Don't, don't be distracted. Lift your hand, everybody. Lift your hand. There is an impartation. There is an impartation. There is an impartation. The grace, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. 
Somebody is feeling it. There is a heat in your body. There is heat in your body. There goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes. There goes. Don't resist it. 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 The grace, the grace, the grace, the grace, the power, the power. Take it, take it. Take it is yours. Take it. Take it is yours. Don't fight God. Don't fight God. Rabba mama mama. Go on it. 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 Somebody's somebody's pulling it. You are pulling it. You are pulling it. You are pulling it. It's on yours. It's on yours. There it goes. There it goes. There 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 goes. Fire is coming. You're feeling the heat. You're feeling the fire. You're feeling the heat. You're feeling the fire. Take it. 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 Look at that. 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 There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. Men and women. Men and women are receiving. Men and women are receiving. Men and women are receiving. Receive it. Don't quench the spirit. Allow people to be moved by the power God. There goes. 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 All of us. There goes. Take it is yours. Take it is yours. Take it is yours. Take it is yours. Take it. Take it. The gift of God. The gift of the Spirit. The gift of God. The gift of the Spirit. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. Yeah, mama, mama, receive. Receive. Soak it. Soak it. Keep on soaking it. Jesus. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Makata robo shete, robo to sata, rekete, rakata shekete, yobo sete. There goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes. The mighty move of God, the spirit of the living God, the Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Fire. Fire. Makata Jesus. Makata Re. Makata Ro. Makata. Machete. There goes. There goes. Receive it. Take 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 it. There goes. The Pagan. On yours. On yours. On yours. On yours. On yours, on yours, on yours. Somebody is pulling it. 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 Receive it is yours. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it is yours. Don't be hard. Don't be hard. Take it. 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 Masha kere bebe, rakata, rekete, tekete. There is power. Take it. The power of the Holy Ghost. 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 There goes. There goes. Receive. There goes. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Shut up. Nata Rakata. Take it all over. All over, all over, all over. I see the Holy Ghost. I see the Holy Ghost. I see the power of the Holy Ghost. I see the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. Rakata Tata. Reketa, yours in the name of Jesus. Yours. Kura, 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 sha, ta, 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 ta. Yours, 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 
Jesus in the name of Jesus. Yours. Men and women are receiving from the Holy Ghost. Men and women are receiving from the Holy Ghost. The move of God. The move of God. The move of God. Take it, 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 take it. Rokoto, Shata, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Sakoto, Baba 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 Shia, the rope of the of the of the Spirit of God. Take it, Saka Ta Ta Ta, take it, take it, take it. Jesus name. Receive is yours. Receive is yours. Receive is yours. Receive is yours. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes. There goes, 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 there goes the power, there goes. Jesus. Rakato Soto. Mama, mama, keep on praying. Soak yourself in the anointing. Soak yourself in the grace of God. Soak yourself. Allow it, allow it, allow it. Allow it, allow it, allow it. Jesus is at work. Rokoto, Rakatata. At the back, receive it, receive it. Where you are, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Don't fight it. Take it. We're a servant. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Yours. Take it. We're a servant. Rekete. Roko Soto. Jesus' name. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Your healing, your deliverance, your breakthrough. Ba, 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 ba. Take it, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Soto. Roba, ba, ba, sete. Koto. Rakata. Reketa. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Take it. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Mana Baba, never the same. Go to Bosheya. Yeah, Mama, pray the Holy Ghost if you can. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. Is there anybody sensitive to receive here? At the count of three. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it! We're a Take it! Take it! We're a servant! Thank you, Jesus. Wobalata Baba! You will never be the same again. You will never be the same again. You will never be the same again. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. There is a mighty wind. There is a mighty wind. Take it! Take it! Take it! Rakato, Shalaba. Oh, there is a mighty wind. Take it, 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 take it. Yours, yours, yours. Mighty wind of God. Mighty wind of God. Go Shoto. Machete Rebe. Jesus, Jesus. Everywhere, everywhere. You receive it wherever you are. Receive. receive it in your house. Receive I it. Receive. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Soak yourself in the grace and the power of God. Soak yourself in the anointing of God. Receive everything God has in store for you. Operate in the supernatural. Walk in power today. Be prophetic. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Keep on receiving. Pray the Holy Ghost. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Don't fight it. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. There goes. There goes. We're saved. We're saved. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Shoto roko to ta 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 ta. Shoto ta ta to to te te. Raka ta 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 ta. Your cup is filling up. 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 Jesus, Jesus. Pray the Holy Ghost. 
Jesus. There he goes, 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 there he goes. When I have, take it. When I have, take it. When I have, take it. Take it, take it. Take it, take it. 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 Jesus. Ashokoto Boroboshia. Ruyobo Satan. Ruyobo Satan Rebasaya. Jesus. Lift your hands. Let's just lift your hands in the presence of God. You have received to overflow. We have received to overflow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the empowerment of your spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For the empowerment of your Holy Spirit working in us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for gifts and activation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the activation of our supernatural life. Lord, we bless you. We thank you for your servant. We thank you for your servant. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you above all for the move of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your move. Lord, we are in the last days, O oh God. And Father, in these days, Lord Jesus, you are worshiping, you want us to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, there is an outpouring of your spirit, just as you have promised. Thank you for empowering your servant. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the grace that rests upon Alf Lukau. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for destinies unlocked today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that our lives will never be the same again. Now, under the anointing of our spiritual father, I release you in the blessing of God. Go in the uncommon favor and the peace of Almighty God. God bless you. And we love you. Can I have um, Bishop TK maybe for the IVP guest?